everyone, Rory plays The Sims here, and welcome to the first part of the I'm a Lover Challenge. I am so excited that you're here. I wanted to add another challenge to my channel, and I came across this challenge, and it sounded like a lot of fun. It's quite a, kind of like a legacy challenge, kind of like a little different spin on it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I have a lot planned for this first video, so as we get settled in, I'm going to have Charlotte uh, start her writing skill here in a second and I need to introduce you guys to her, obviously. I wanna tell you her little backstory, show you the really cute house that I picked and explain the rules. So this is Charlotte. Uh, her aspiration is soulmate. That is the re one of the requirements, I believe. I better check. <laughs> I believe it's a rule. Um, let me see here. She is a bookworm. She's creative. She's romantic. And she is alluring. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, don't you just love this dress? Oh, I love that dress. That is so cute. I love custom content. <laughs> so I'm going to try and there it goes. Okay. Learning buttons. <laughs> I'm going to have her start her writing. Let's see. We want her to write. Let's have her just write a children's book just so we can get started. Uh, there you go. Go ahead into your adorable little house, Charlotte. So while she's writing, I'm going to tell you guys her quick little backstory, why she's here, why we're in Windenburg. Um, yeah, so as a child, Charlotte had a really hard time making friends. Um, name of the book. That sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> uh, she, it wasn't because she was mean or anything. It was purely because that she was pretty and the girls were really jealous of her and they bullied her and the boys were too intimidated to talk to her. They're like, no freaking way am I going to talk to her. So she was pretty much alone growing up and to stay safe and not be picked on, she would hide away in the library at school and uh, she would just be huddled away in the safety of the rows of books. She would eat her lunches there, and if she arrived early to school, she would actually hide away and read books and write stories. She'd help the librarian shelf books, so that's where she spent the majority of her time. And her favorite thing to do besides reading was write short stories, like she's kind of doing right now. <laughs> And uh, she wrote stories of living in a far off land and meeting her one true love and getting married and having kids and all that fun stuff. So instead of Barbies, she was reading books and writing. <laughs> and as she grew older, she decided that she actually wanted to become a real romance writer and fulfill her dream of meeting her one true love and getting married. That's like what she wants to do in life. So she went to college, worked multiple jobs, saved her money, and uh, when she graduated, she moved to Windenburg. I'm gonna show you this really cute house. Oops, with the roof on, I always, there we go. She moved to Windenburg, bought this adorable little house, and she's determined to make her dream of being a romance writer and finding her one true love a reality. So here we are, this is her adorable little house. I love this so much. Is it just not cute? Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. If you like this house and you want the information on it, it is in the Sims 4 gallery and I will uh, include all the information in the description bar below. So there's kind of like the little walls and isn't it super cute? You walk in and here's the kitchen. It is super small and it is just the right size for her. And I'll probably add on a little nursery over here as her family grows. But right now, it's a good size. It's a good starter house. We've got the kitchen, the dining room, little bathroom, a bedroom, and a little place where she can sit down and talk if she wants to have friends over. The backyard is really cute. You can't swim in that. I tried. <laughs> it's just there. It's just a little pond. So this is where she sits on, uh, actually at night, she'll come out here and have her dinners and she'll sit, she'll get inspiration from the garden. She is really romantic. I mean, in how she dresses, she wears pinks and florals and her house is all pink. So yeah, that is, that is Charlotte in a nutshell. <laughs> I am so excited to get this challenge started. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm shivering, but I actually am. It is like 38 degrees right now in my house. I need to turn on the heater. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and explain the rules. So this is called the I'm a Lover Challenge. 
and it says it's a rework of The Sims 3 of the I'm a Lover Challenge by Best Frenemies 14. That is such a cool name. I will include a link. I'm pointing down. I am such a dork. I will include a link for these challenge rules in the description bar below. So all the information will be down there if you guys want to try out this challenge. Um, it says the legacy rules do not have to apply to this challenge. It is up to whether you want to play it with the rules like the firstborn with heirs and all that stuff. And we'll get to heirs a little bit later. I've never had triplets or twins or anything in any of my games. I've been playing this game for a year and I've tried every cheat or everything and my sims always have one baby so I highly doubt we're gonna have more than one kid. Oh and once we start having babies if you guys want to start naming these kids start thinking of some names that you would want for these kids. Level up. Charlotte has reached level two of the writing skill. Charlotte can now self-publish books. Good for you. You are getting there. So when you create the founder, they can be male or female. They must be young adult, and she is a young adult. They must have the romantic trait. We got that covered, so I was right. And they must have the soulmate aspiration. Oh, wait a minute. I gave her the romantic trait, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yes, I did. Okay, I totally did that right. <laughs> um, generation one, I'm only going to tell you the rules of generation one, just so it doesn't get overwhelming. I think it's a 10 generation eight i'm looking at all the papers yes i'm shuffling real papers yes it is 10 generations so i'm just going to tell you the rules for generation one so you kind of guys you kind of know where we're going where we're where we're headed so she has to join the writer career oh let's have her do that right now i don't know how we're going to balance all of this she's so excited look at her <laughs> i love it she's like i'm so excited i'm in windenburg are you gonna stare at your phone or make the phone call there we go so we need to get her into the writing career ta-da keep writing <laughs> i'm like good job um resume writing good night nightlight enter the writer career charlotte is now a writer's assistant at walrus books she starts wednesday at 11 a.m what is today today is monday okay Whew. and she has to be inspired when she goes i gotta make sure she takes a shower right before she goes so she can get inspired so okay join the writer career check write romance novels novels um she's not doing that right now we got to get her in a flirty mood so maybe i will have her Stop doing this. <laughs> Come over here. Have a nice little seat. I want you to watch the romance channel. Let's get her totally flirty and then have her write romance novels. Um, she needs to date one person throughout the young adult age. So what I'm going to do is maybe go into town, maybe go to a cafe, or maybe have her join like a writer's club or a book club. I need her to get out there and meet people. She was such a shy sim when, or sim person when she was little, but she is here in Windenburg. She is determined to fulfill her dreams and she wants to break out of her shell of being shy. She wants to make friends. She, oh, she's flirty now. Yay. Does this actually work? I'm just guessing, right? Hmm. How do I get her to write a romance novel? Does, how do I, maybe she needs to be higher up on the skills? Play game, more choices. Uh -huh. What? Uh-huh, she says. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just have her resume not writing. Oh, I'm sorry, you were going to eat. How do you make her write a romance novel? If you guys know, let me know in the description down below. I really thought it was I had to get her flirty and then she writes. But it could be that she's such a low level that she can't do that yet. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's really eager to break out of her shell and get started on meeting friends. And she's in a whole new town. So all of the bullies, all of the people that she used to know have been left behind. And she's from Willow Creek, by the way. <laughs> her family lives there. She's look at she's looking at me like, uh huh. That's right. <laughs> uh, so she needs to date one person throughout the young adult stage. What an achievement. Charlotte finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Charlotte can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. So I'm going to have her eat something because she is so hungry. Uh, open. 
I believe we made her. Oh, look at all this food. Is she going to get food anyways? She is. Okay. You just might be a really easy sim to take care of. I appreciate that, Charlotte. Um, and what I'm going to have you guys do too, if you want to submit sims for potential mates for, for Charlotte or for the future, create them in any way you wish. The only requirement that is asked is that they be a young adult or an adult. And as we go through this challenge, I will need both males and females. So I'm really excited. Create them however you want and I'll add them to the game. And let's get them married and have some new booze. <laughs> Use the hashtag Rory Legacy um, since this is sort of a legacy challenge. And that's how I will be able to find your sims and um, put them in the game to make them mates for Charlotte. Let me know if you want Charlotte to go into town and meet someone there, maybe meet someone in, the, in like a book club or a writing club. Um, or if you want her to marry like one of your guys' sims that gets submitted. I'm not sure if there will be enough time because we kind of need to get moving on this, but you know, just let me know. Um, but let's see what else do the rules say. Mm, date one person throughout the young adult stage. Marry as an adult must... Whoa, who's this? Hey, Charlotte, we'd love to have you join the avant-garde. What do you think? Oh, I can't remember. Are the avant-garde... I hate... Okay. I can't remember. Are the avant-garde... Are they like book people? You know, we're just going to go ahead and say yes now because... Okay, good. <laughs> She's been accepted into the club. Welcome to the avant-garde. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering and would love for you, you. Oh, okay, it went away. I read too slow. <laughs> She's like, you read way too slow, girl. <laughs> Is it up here at all? Nope. But hey, there you go. It was probably like, come out, hang out with this, but I read too slow. Um. So she has to marry as an adult and must marry the same person she dated as a young adult. So she's going to be with this guy for a long time. Oh, I'm sorry. Generation one is called, um, all I wanted was to be a romance writer and find my one, uh, find my own true love. So that's exactly what she's doing. She really wants to be a romance writer. She's started her career. She wants to find her true love. Uh, she must have two kids as an adult and must happen after marriage. Wow. Two kids. Okay, so I'm going to need boys and girls' names, you guys. <laughs> Have a date night every week. Every week, at least one date. All right, so we got to get creative with those dates. And stay with spouse until death do us part. So there you go. Oh, is she writing on her own? Oh, she's chatting. Okay, so there you go. That is um, Charlotte. That's the rules. That's the house. That is what we will be doing. And... I'm really excited to get started. This is just all so much fun. The Disney Princess Bachelor Challenge has like maybe four episodes left and I'm like, I don't know what else to do. So you guys voted for the Asylum Challenge, so that is going up soon. We've got this challenge, the I'm a Lover Challenge, and I want to add one more. I don't know what else to add, so maybe you guys can suggest some in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to get her out from this computer. How do I... Maybe if we... I'm surprised we didn't get a welcome wagon. Does that always happen? Look at all these people in the club. Okay, so she's the leader. Maybe we can overthrow and, like, become the new leader. Hugo... He's kind of cute, huh? Gunther. You're kind of cute, too. Yuki. And us. Let's go talk to... Invite to Club Hangout. Invite to hang out at current lot. Let's go upper crust. Can you, I'm guessing you can be in more than one book club at a time. What is this? You have to write, read, drink coffee. That's easy. Play video games, do homework. Oh my gosh, this exactly sounds like me as a person. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. You know what? She's tired. So what I'm going to do is not have her go out to this club meeting. I kind of want to go online and research. Oh, no, sleep in the bed. You get better sleep that way. Um, I kind of want to go online and research clubs and see like what there is to offer. Maybe we want to start our own club. Let me know what you guys think. So this video feels like it was super short, but I just wanted to get to get to the point. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, 
oh, we're having the meeting at our house. Oh my gosh, get out of bed. <laughs> There's people at your house. This lady just full on walked in here. Invite these people in, in our pajamas. But do change your clothes, please. Change outfit to nude. Huh. Let's just change it to this random. Oh, cute. That's the dress you were wearing before. <laughs> Whoa, are these the people that are in our club? I was totally going to end it, but then these people came over. I need to figure out how... Oh, look how pretty she is. Hi. Let's ask her about her day. View clubs. Whoa. Why are we sitting outside in the cold when we can go inside? We should probably say hi to her. Friendly introduction. Do you guys have this problem with your game where they talk to, peach, uh, talk to each other through the walls? I don't get that. My Disney princess one, like, Prince Charming will talk to people that are in the basement, but he's upstairs. That's the weirdest thing. Well, hi. Who is this? Hugo. Whoa. Whoa. So these are the clubs he is in, huh? Cancel membership. Oh, no, we're in that. I'm like, I can make him cancel that? <laughs> Upper crust, we're not really stuck up. We just enjoy sharing the better things in life as long as it's food related. <gasps> food. Can we see what clubs you're in? View clubs. Oh my gosh. Did you guys know that you could do this? Friendly introduction. I love this outfit. Isn't this the cutest outfit? So easily distracted. Okay. Powerhouse. We can all be better, faster, stronger, fitter. Whether you need words of encouragement or someone to kick your butt, we're here to help you get it. She's in like a ton of clubs. What is this other lady in? Where's our club leader? And it's 8 o'clock at night. It's past my bedtime, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think I could stay up that late. It's funny, when I was younger, I'm like, I could stay up all night. Now I'm like, nope. What is this? Start a club gathering. Start a club gathering through the club panel in the lower right. Charisma. I want to know what kind of clubs this lady is in. Uh, who? Is she not in any club? Oh, clubs. Apply to club, view clubs. This is so weird. Obviously, this is the get together pack. <laughs> I want to know if she's in our club or not. Can we see? Okay. The good timer is everyone can be a good timer. You just need to appreciate a good drink and a game of foosball among friends. Dang, there's way too many good clubs. So where is she at? Okay, you know what? I'm going to pause this because this is just a little bit overwhelming for me. <laughs> I haven't played like any of the get together at all. And here I arrive in Rindenburg and it's like, clubs. Oh, she wants to go to sleep. Yeah, she's exhausted. Can we say goodbye to these people? Ask to leave? Is that rude? Does that like... Okay, no, no, they're not offended. <gasps> Get off of my computer! What do you think you're doing? I don't think so, lady. Get in there. Tell her to get off your computer. I would never go to someone's house and just jump on their computer. Oh, I think all these people are really offended that I just asked them to leave. No! Get off my computer. Go away. Don't just crawl into your bed. Wait a minute. Tell this lady to leave. Do you guys know if that's like a... What? Why won't she leave? Get out of my house. Do you guys know if like the Sims get really... Like she looks super offended. Do they get offended by that? Will you leave please? Okay good. She's leaving. I should really get going now because you kicked me out of your house. <laughs> well, it's 10 o'clock at freaking night. <laughs> All right, you guys. Wow, that, that this video just took a random turn I was not expecting. No, sleep a little slower, please. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the I'm a Lover Challenge. I apologize that just took a random freaking turn that I wasn't expecting. But if you want to submit, submit Sims for potential mates for the future, um please do i'd love to see them i had so much fun with your guys' submissions for the asylum and uh, if you want to submit sims for this challenge please use the hashtag rory legacy and we will get charlotte on her way we will get her you know 
we will fulfill her dreams. We will start generation one. I am so excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them all down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!